Hi and welcome. In the last video I explained the basic functions of the LFOs in a world of Blofeld synthesizer. Now I want to talk more a bit synchronization. So let's have a look on the simulator again. We are selecting an LFO with a sine wave and we are activating the synchronization which means that the speed will be shown in different values. And these values are corresponding to nodes relatively to a BPM. So for instance, one bar means what you call four beats mostly. So when you have a four fourth beat, this would mean that you're counting to, to four. And this is the length of one cycle of the LFO. If you have the value half, it means that you're counting to two, and this is the length of the LFO, and so on. And one fourth would be the cycle length of a quarter note. But there are also different values, like for instance, one fourth P. Let's compare it to one fourth. So I'm activating a second source and a second LFO. Again, synchronized. And now we take one fourth T as the value and change the, the zoom a bit. Okay. So what you can see here is that normally where two red cycles would fit, they end up here. Now you have three green cycles. And this is also the case when you're talking about node length. So T stands for triplet. Or let me explain it with, a, with an example. Let's say you have a four to the floor beat. So a four fourth. And you would normally count one, two, three, four. And when you're counting, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. This three, four, five, this is a triplet, which means that normally you would have two notes, but you're playing three notes. And if you are counting one, two, three, four, I guess this is already a complete Kraftwerk song. But if you're counting up to five, where you would expect a counting up to four, there's a triplet somewhere. And this is also here, so you can see you would normally have two red cycles, but because um, the green LFO is set to the, to the triplet mode, you have three green cycles. Now let's talk about the third kind of speed values which you can set. And these are the values with a dot. In this case, the dot means quite the opposite of the triplet. So normally you would expect three cycles, but instead you get two cycles. Again, we can change the zoom range. And then you can see exactly that you have two green cycles where you would normally expect three red cycles. Compared to the example before, this would be a counting of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So the one and two in the second and the fourth bar are um, dotted nodes. With all of these different synchronization options, you can create very um, interesting beats and rhythms, um, very vivid modulations which are 
um, synchronized to the beat but seem to be a little bit offbeat. And this can um, make your song and your music um, more interesting. But don't forget that the Blofeld has some issues with external uh, MIDI clock synchronization. So you should actually work with the internal clock or you should think about resetting um, the LFOs, for instance with a keystroke from time to time. I hope this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, you can make a thumbs up and a comment. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.